You know, I've talked about scanning negatives with my CanoScan flatbed scanner. And when it comes to color negatives, I really haven't found any better way to do it. You know, in my price range, it does a really good job at scanning color negatives. But when it comes to black and white negatives, I have another way that I really prefer, and that's uh, digitizing them with a digital camera. Now here's how I like to do it. I keep things simple. Uh, I know that some people use elaborate setups. They modify a copy stand or an old enlarger. Uh, but this is what I do and it works for me. I use a DSLR with a 50 millimeter lens uh, and you can use a longer lens or a macro attachment to really fill up that frame with the negative that you're scanning. I use a light panel. Uh, this is the one that I use. It's, it gives me a flat and even light source. Uh, and I cut a little mask out of a poster board to help keep the negatives flat when I'm doing this. The camera is mounted to a tripod and I just use a table or a stool to support the light panel. I'm going to demonstrate the process with the medium format negative. So as you can see, the process is simple, and for me, it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to digitize black and white negatives if you don't have a scanner. If you like these tips, go ahead and click that subscribe button, click like, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'll see you next time.